Hey there, it's Amy Brokhammer. I'm an author, speaker, trainer, and real estate agent in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today, I'm going to share with you how I have adjusted my annual ice cream social client event into a pandemic friendly situation for as many of my clients and friends as possible. So you may know me as a real estate agent and coach that helps my colleagues and other people in sales and entrepreneurial ventures focus on a relationship-based business and a repeat and referral business. That is my focus when I am engaging with my clients and when we're doing client events. This year, with the pandemic happening in 2020, we have had to adjust our client events. The last event that we did was in February, and it was our I Love You a Latte event. We had to end up postponing our annual um, Earth Day birthday event in April, and we are gearing up to sustain our ice cream social that will happen on July 18th. I've gotten a ton of requests asking me how I'm doing the modified version, the adjusted version of my ice cream social. So I wanted to make a video and share with you guys all the tools and all of the stuff that I am doing. Now, here's the deal. I'm going to share all this with you. Then I'm going to have a bunch of links to the different tools that I'm using and images of what they look like. And I even have a video email that I will give you a link to so that you can see what that looks like. But the only way that I can do that is if you go down into the show notes, click on the link and share your email with me, and then I'll email you a whole package of all the tools for the ice cream social modification, okay? That's how I can get you the tools. I can't do them all on this video or show them all to you on the video, okay? So here we go. So this is the first in a series I'm doing on how to because of COVID. And this one is how to do an ice cream social during the pandemic, all right? So today what we're gonna talk about is the ice cream social. In the past, the way that I've done my ice cream social is I send out text messages to as many humans as I know that are connected with our real estate team. Inviting them to the ice cream social, I generally have it at a park with a playground and we bring the ice cream there. As many people come as they want, whenever they want, in and out. We usually have a photographer there to take pictures and people just come enjoy ice cream and leave. And it's a great opportunity to see people and say, hey, well, we have to do things different this year because of the pandemic. So this year I canceled the park because we were unable to play on the play set and that's just torture for a kid. So this year in 2020, the event is gonna be held at my house, um, mostly in the driveway, the garage area, and then in the yard for the pictures. So um, we're going to have the event at my house and we're going to do this a little different. So here is the invitation. And this again is a, just a square image. And what I do with this is I created this in Canva, if you have Canva, and then I saved it in my phone and I text my clients, hey, I'm still having my ice cream social, a modified version. Let me know if you can make it. And that's all I say and then I send this. So this document or this um, image talks about the date of the ice cream social, that it's modified, it's at my house, the RSVP is necessary, sign up for a time slot, Grader's ice cream and family photos, and it's got my logo on it, okay? So these are the, all the important elements for an image, not too busy because it's a text and it's gonna be small. So I text my client this, and I say, let me know if you can make it, and I'll send you the RSVP, or I'll send you the link to RSVP for a time slot. So what's been happening is um, they'll say, yes, I want to come. And I'll say, okay, let me send you a link to the time slots. And then I created a Sign Up Genius. Sign Up Genius is a website that I found through my kids being in school. And so I created a Sign Up Genius event, and that event allowed time slots. So my event is from 1 to 4, and I made... 15 minute arrival time slots. So they're called arrival times. So 1, 115, uh, 130, 145, 2, all of that. And then I allowed 
two families to sign up for each time slot so that we're properly spacing everyone and their arrival times. Um, and the idea is, is that when they get there, they go and have their photo taken. So the way that my house is laid out, my driveway is on the left and my front porch is on the right. So they'll go get their picture on the front porch or in the front grass area with a photographer, and then they'll come over and get ice cream. Um, and I'll have on the driveway, I'll have spaced out tables for kids and adults. And then I'm just this year going to offer a, a container of ice cream. It's already pre-scooped ice cream and a small thing of sprinkles. In the past, we used to do syrup, all kinds of syrups and whipped cream and cherries and everything. But that's too much stuff for people to be touching and have to wipe off and clean. So I want just a stack of like little jello shot cups of sprinkles uh, or individually wrapped and then the ice cream is individually wrapped too and they'll be in the coolers and I'll wipe down the coolers. Um, so everybody can take a spoon, an ice cream, put their stuff on it and, and throw their garbage away. Um, so that will be the ice cream station and that's all we're going to offer. Now normally when we're at a park, they're playing, they're going to the water feature, they're doing a million things. So it keeps everybody busy and they stay around longer. With this situation, we don't really want them lingering very long. We want them to eat their ice cream and then we want to get that time, that one-on-one -on -one conversation, that hello, maybe a couple pictures or things like that of the kids eating the ice cream. Um, and then they can go. Uh, we're not going, I thought about doing sidewalk chalk and bubbles and water balloons, but you know what, that's too much touching stuff. And um, we just want to make this as basic and streamlined as possible so that families can come out and enjoy. So um, then they have the opportunity to RSVP and they choose a time slot. Once they choose the time slot, they get an email from Sign Up Genius that says, hey, thank you for RSVPing. And then down in the email, it says, hey, uh, it's from me and it says, hey, thanks for you know signing up. In order to eliminate the need to fill out our um, door price entry form at the event with pencils and paper, I have created an online door price entry form. So click the link below and fill it out. And if you're familiar with the door price entry form, it's really basic. It asks for their name, their address. It asks if we can connect them with the different um, sponsors that sponsor our events um, in different ways. And then it asks, who do you know that wants to, that, that will be the next to buy or sell real estate um, in the next year and they can fill that in. And then this is um, an online entry form. So we don't need to have paper at the event or pens at the event. Then everybody that fills out this entry form and it literally takes seconds will be entered to win the door prizes that we have. And I will draw for the door prizes on Facebook Live on my business page before we do the event so that everybody can see what we got and then I'll put a poster up of who won and then I'll let the people take their door prizes home at the event. So um, that'll streamline everything. Um, so, so that's the door prize entry form and our sponsors provide the door prizes um, and that's how we do that. Now, so far I have done the inviting and I've had 15 of the 24 spots reserved. And I've been very careful about inviting. I just do a couple at a time and then I check and see because there's only so many spaces. I've got 24 spaces right now for families to come. And my A-list is 30 people long. So I can't invite everybody and also not everybody has kids or it makes sense. So I'm being very careful and very um, specific about who I'm inviting that it makes sense for their family that maybe we didn't drop, um, we didn't do our mobile event with them back in June, so we want them to come to this thing in July, or maybe we're finding out that they're not able to make it because of a trip that they're on, so we wanna make sure that we put them on our s'mores um, mobile event happening in August. So uh, just keeping touch. So what's happened so far is the 15 people that have RSVP'd got the email asking them to fill out the online door prize. Nobody's done it yet. So all I'm gonna to have to do, and I use Google Forms to create the online 
door prize form. And I'll, I'll show you that in a separate uh, exchange. But um, so what I'll end up doing is taking the link for the online door prize form and I'll text that to them like in a couple weeks and say, hey, I just wanted to make sure that you saw this door prize entry form so that you guys can enter to win the door prizes that we have and we want to get this out of the way before the event. And so that's another touch, another reason to reach out and hopefully they'll fill that out. Maybe we'll get a lead. Maybe our sponsors will get a lead out of it. Who knows? Um, so the door prize entry form goes out and um, it sends that confirmation email. Then what I do is I create, I am a big avid user of a company called Send Out Cards. And I will put a link to try Send Out Cards below in the show notes. So then what I do is I go into Send Out Cards for all the people that have RSVP to the event. And so far it's 15 and it's going to be a maximum of 24. So not that big of a deal. I go in and I create a card and I'll show you what those cards look like. But the card has an ice cream cone on the front and it says, come chill with us. Inside is basically this graphic so that they have a reminder of the event and they can put it on their refrigerator. On the other side of the card, I say, hey, Dexter, the name of the kid or whatever. I'm so excited to see you come to my ice cream event. Um, just as a reminder, you signed up for the one o'clock time slot. We look forward to seeing you. And then on the back side of the card, again, is a reminder of uh, thank you to our trusted partners and then my name and information in case they need to reach me. So I like to use this concept that I call multimedia. So, so far we've texted them. We have emailed them. We have now... Um, sent them snail mail in the mail. And the next thing I'm going to do is send them a video email the day or two before the event. I've already recorded that and prepared that and I can share that with you as well. I use BombBomb to send my video email communications. It's got a lot of really great features and tools and it's super easy to use. So what I do then after I've sent the card right after they've RSVP so that they have kind of something tangible is a couple days before the event what I did was I put together an email that had a couple of reminders or suggestions things like go to the bathroom before you come we'll have a bathroom but we prefer that you go to the bathroom we have a hand washing station at the house we're going to have things spaced out we recommend you get your picture taken first and then come and join us all those things and reminding them of the time that their event is and it's a video and an email. So that will go out a couple days before in the hopes that A, they remember their RSVP time, they remember they're coming, and if they can't make it, they can at least let us know that they're not gonna be able to make it. Okay, so that's how the ice cream social is going to work. There's two more pieces to this that I will share. So sometimes when I send the invitation, people say, you know what, we're not ready yet. We're not ready for an event. And I say, totally fine. I appreciate that, and I've been there. We also have two other options, if you're interested. We are going to be offering curbside pickup from 4 until 5, the last hour. And if you, you can still RSVP for the curbside pickup option, tell me how many adults and kids you have. We'll put everything in a bag with the sprinkles, the spoons, and the napkins, and you can drive by, pick up your ice cream, and go enjoy it at a park or at home or just in your car if you're not ready to be in a social environment yet. Um, and, and I've had two people want to do that. And then I also have the option where we're going to do a porch drop-off. So the following day, the 19th, they had the option to RSVP for a porch drop off. And this would be, you know, how many people they need. So two adults, two children, put all the ice cream and the same stuff in the bag. And the next day I would get the cooler together. I would put the stuff in and I would go make the drop offs. Now this will be just for certain people that meet the criteria. Um, and I'm, and I offered five spots for this. 
So I'll do this for five clients. And then the curbside pickup, I offered 10 spots. I don't know that we're going to fill those up at all, but it's an opportunity for them to do something different if they don't feel comfortable actually coming to the event in person. Again, the entire event is outside, all outside. Um, and it is socially distanced and um, we're gonna have everything sanitized and clean. So it's, you know, if, if they wanna come and so far we've got a great response. Everybody almost that we're inviting is saying yes. Again, they're all people that we know that we've done business with that give us referrals that we're connected to. So this is not a blind cold invitation. This is a very warm invitation to somebody that they know very well. I would not recommend inviting strangers to this event this year in this way. The other modifications that are of consideration is um, I may be able to add a third family to each time slot. I don't think I'm going to need to do that because I'm going to keep it simple and do it really slow and basic in the beginning. Um, maybe another event I'll do a little bit more substantial or who knows how long we'll be in this situation that we might need to do it, you know, another time or two. So that is how I'm doing my ice cream social socially distanced. Again, um, I'm using text messages, one-on-one -on -one text messages to do the invitation. I'm using sign up genius for the time slot RSVPs. I'm using um, Google Forms for the online door prize form. And I'm using BombBomb for the video email confirmation and send out cards for the physical mail. And again, this is just multimedia. I'm reaching my best core A clients in every possible media avenue that I can so that they are reminded about the event and they are reminded that their friend Amy sells real estate and is looking to help as many friends and family as possible. You can adapt this to any type of sales business. Um, if you're a hairdresser, this would work great. If you are a carpet cleaning company, if you're, uh, if you do weddings, you could do this with, with your clients. I mean, a, a million ways to adapt this to your business, just to get face to face, just to get in front of clients. We know that the highest and best use of our time in a relationship situation is face to face and you'll have the best conversations and you'll deepen your, your relationship and your trust face to face. So that's what we're trying to do. I also have started doing mobile client events, which will be another video that I will link in the show notes. If you're interested in learning more about the mobile client events, check out the video on that and make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube page because I am going to continue to share with you how, let's see, where did that go? How to, because of COVID, all the different things that our business has to adapt to because of COVID, I'm going to show you how I'm doing it, what tools I'm using. And you may choose to use one of the tools or all of the tools, whatever you want to do. I'm here to help. I'm here to continue a relationship-based business connection in spite of the pandemic. Thank you again so much. And if you know of anyone that needs to buy or sell real estate in Cincinnati, Ohio, or frankly, anywhere in the country, I would love to be a resource and a help to them as an experienced agent. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.